Greetings and welcome. This is Rajiv Makhni on the Cell Guru Show, and today we've got some incredible stuff: new phones and so much more. We'll start things off with the Motorola G62. Now, this is a successor to the previously launched G52. Motorola seems to be a on a launch spree nowadays, right? Now, this is an under twenty thousand rupee phone and promises a great experience. But you know, once again with Motorola, I think maybe they're doing too many phones, or there's some other problem. Realme, Redmi really dominate. This very competitive category, and I have to say again, the second time I felt this, this is a Motorola phone that did not live up to my expectations. We move on then to our very very famous Qualcomm segment, and we'll go and meet Thilapan, who learned how to code using only and only his smartphone, and now works as a full stack developer. He also trains people in coding thanks to a great start only using. His smartphone. Then we'll move on to a segment that I absolutely love doing. This is about conning DX and DX Plus glass. Did you know that a lot of glass that covers the camera is the main problem that you do not get good pictures because that glass is ordinary glass, right? It has a problem absorbing light. It has a problem with refracting light, as in it bends light. You get distorted images, and most importantly, that is the glass that protects the lens. Imagine the amount of scratches, those micro scratches that come in. With Corning DX and DX Plus, all of these problems are eliminated. But look, that's what Corning claims, right? We're going to put it to an extreme reality show test. You've got to see this segment. That and a whole lot more happening on the Cell Guru Show. Let's get started. A big review today is the Moto G62. Like I said, one more new phone from Motorola. Other companies take out TWS earbuds every month. Motorola takes out a phone. Now this is the 5G capable phone, 6.5 inch display, 50 megapixel triple rear camera, only LCD display, 120 hertz refresh rate though, 5000 mAh battery. So seems like a solid phone with its clean interface. But once again, for the second time running. I have basically felt that Motorola, either because they are doing too many phones too soon, or they are trying to compete in a market that they are not really very proficient with, this under twenty thousand rupee phone is an absolute no-no from my side. Motorola's budget and mid-range portfolio has never been tighter. From the G42 to the G52, and now the G62, the company has done a phenomenal job of introducing. Alternatives to Xiaomi and Realme's duopoly, but showing up to the fight is just half the job. Can Motorola's newest 5G smartphone deliver the punch it needs to leave a mark? Let's find out in the Cell Guru review. Motorola's design philosophy has always been one of minimalism, and that continues to be the case with the G62. The phone barely moves the needle forward, and what you get is a phone that looks suspiciously similar to practically any other recent Motorola device. Yes, that means a plastic build. Despite the not so great use of materials, the phone feels well put together and should be able to stand the test of time. Moreover, the plastic build helps keep the weight down to a manageable 184 grams. The compromises continue with the display as well. There's no AMOLED panel here and what you get is a 6.5 inch 120 hertz LCD panel. While we appreciate the high refresh rate panel, the inky deep blacks and high contrast levels afforded by the AMOLED panel would have significantly elevated the experience. Regardless, the LCD panel here isn't too bad and displays reasonable color accuracy. Brightness levels are adequate but not exceptional. Of course there's no IP rating to be found and the speaker doesn't particularly impress either. Perhaps Motorola shifted all its focus on the performance. Let's find out. Powering the phone is a Snapdragon 695 chipset. The thoroughly mid-range processor isn't going to work wonders but daily use is more than adequate. Additionally, the 6GB of RAM comes in handy for multitasking as well. We had no trouble firing up popular games on the phone but you'll need to keep your expectations in check with the graphics settings. The true selling point here however is clean software build no bloat fare to be found here. Combined with a frugal processor you can expect 2 days of use out of the 5000 mAh battery. And what about the cameras? 
There's a primary 50 megapixel camera paired up with an 8 megapixel ultra wide shooter as well as a 2 megapixel macro camera. The primary camera surprised us by capturing well detailed shots with a decent amount of detail. Don't expect much in terms of low light capabilities, but the camera punches above its weight for everyday use. We found the ultra wide camera to be rather lackluster with its lower resolution and even lower quality. The 2 megapixel macro will suffice in a pinch for extreme close ups, but you're not impressing anyone with a sensor Motorola. All in all, the Moto G62 5G is a competent performer for the money. There is no attempt at creating high-end smartphone here. With the Motorola G62, what you see is what you get. Let's move on now to our Qualcomm story. And this is a wonderful story I have for you today. Thilipan didn't know what to do after completing his graduation. He came across multiple courses on how to code where like we all do, just researching a little bit on YouTube. Now, he only had a smartphone. He used his smartphone to learn how to code. And he went and showcased his skills to the same company from where he learned coding online. Impressed, they hired him on the spot as a full stack developer. And now he trains people on how to code. Philippon showed how his smartphone helped him reap the benefits of his hard work. They say learning never stops and learning something that is out of your comfort zone can be quite daunting. But it also, I think, motivates you to defeat the challenges that you face. Now, you must be thinking, what's happened to Rajiv? Have I become a motivational speaker? Uh, no, no, no. I'm still talking about technology and the role of technology and how it's changed a lot over the years. From ordering food to shopping to even the way we travel, technology has permeated across all levels. Now, this is one of the reasons why coding is now becoming such a hot popular choice for people and 27-year-old Thilipan did just that, not knowing what to do. After completing his graduation, he decided to learn how to code. Now, while browsing YouTube, he came across multiple courses on coding. Now, equipped with just a smartphone and with the help of tutorials on the internet, he learned how to code on his smartphone. Thanks to technology, so you don't need a computer, a PC, a desktop, a laptop. A smartphone can do the job, maybe even better than any other device. As of 2020, there are nearly 26.2 million coders all over the world. And this number is growing exponentially. Coding jobs are in high demand. Thilipun is now actually training people how to code at the same institute from where he learned. Life surely has a way of coming full circle. A smartphone changed Dilipan's life. A coding program he studied using his mobile phone during the pandemic-triggered lockdown has opened him a new career opportunity. He's now a full-stack developer, impressed by quick learning and skills Dilipan demonstrated. M App Studio the tech company that offered the course has given him this job. Once I got my degree, I gave no idea about finding jobs. Uh, but uh, that time I was having my smartphone. Uh, I started watching um, app development oriented videos in YouTube. One day I got a video suggestion from Mac of Studio Bridge course. That course uh, completely teaches us um, how to become a developer. I was uh, fully completed that course and then I practicing coding skills using mobile code sandbox. A um, lot of youngsters got placed in MNC by watching this, completed this course only. Uh, the course was developed by uh, City of Makeup Studio, Jar uh, That course uh, mainly helpful for me. Uh, once I completed uh, uh, learning coding skills, I went to Makeup Studio. Uh, for showcasing my skills using mobile smartphone. Uh, Jarsar were really impressed by my skills when I showing my smartphone, skills via smartphone. Uh, then I got an opportunity for working with Makeup Studio. Uh, now I am a full stack developer and also a training in charge of 25 trainees. Coming from rural Tamil Nadu, 
Dilipin did not get a job in 2019 despite his B.Tech degree. He was desperate and it was then his smartphone turned into a boom. He learned app development following YouTube lessons offered by a Chennai-based IT company, Mac App Studio. It all started after Dilipan completed his B.Tech in Information Technology. The lockdown had curtailed job openings and he was heartbroken. He didn't have even a laptop. It was then he learned about the YouTube-based coding lessons and he used his smartphone to learn and practice coding. And in months, the smartphone literally turned into a springboard for success. His parents are elderly farmers. There was no money to send him to Chennai. But empowered with his new industry-ready skills, he sold their poultry to buy his ticket and that turned into a passport for success. Don't make uh, reasons for uh, without job. Uh, um, use your uh, time with uh, what you have. Um, I have, that the time I was having no laptop, but I was having my smartphone. Uh, I used a smartphone to reach this person. Um, so, any devices with the technology helpful for your career. So, youngsters, uh, use your technology, use your smartphone in the right way to get a lot of um, persons. Dilipan's hard work learning coding using the smartphone is now paying him rich dividends. He has gone up on the career ladder and now heads the training department at this IT company. Dilipan now trains around 25 new recruits at this company. Many of them are from humble rural backgrounds, just like him. Some even from non-engineering streams, but with potential and passion. For many, his rise is an inspiration. Many like Dilipan are smashing the common public perception that smartphones could turn youngsters addicted to unproductive activities. They are proving that a smartphone could be a great empowerment tool if used the right way. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Windy TV. Let's go and meet Thilipan now to know how all of this started for him. Welcome Thilipan, really happy to see you on the show. What features of the smartphone helped you the most? YouTube and Google Chrome uh, are the major features helpful for me to learn coding skills. Mm, and also phone with a good processor, uh, I have that time. Uh, it uh, helpful for to uh, uh, improve my uh, speed of my learning. Uh, it prevents uh, lag also. What other features would you like to see on your smartphone to further your passion? Mm, phone with uh, default mobile compilers is helpful for coders uh, because uh, we are now currently searching uh, mobile compilers in online. Uh, phone with a uh, individual mobile compiler it will faster and uh, easier to learn coding and practicing coding thank you so much telepan for being on the show with us snapdragon is calling all the cell guru fans to join their global community called snapdragon insiders this gives you access to the latest scoop on snapdragon tech a chance to connect with the experts behind the scenes premium experiences exclusive contests and much much more look i've been telling you this for a while i'm a snapdragon insider and you can become one too by simply following snapdragon on their twitter or instagram handles the handles are given right here also, give yourself a chance to win a Samsung smartphone by participating in the NDTV Snapdragon contest at ndtv.com slash unleash your dreams. Let's take a quick break right now on the show. When we come back, lots more happening on the Selguru Show.
Now it's time to reveal our reality show segment. This is with Corning DX and DX Plus as our subject. Look, 95% of Indian consumers believe that the number of lenses in a smartphone impacts photo quality. It's actually based on how much light actually the glass in front of the lenses can let in. So how does Corning Gorilla Glass DX and DX Plus enhance the optical performance and protect the camera lens? See, there's a lot that can actually happen. That glass in front of the lens has to let in the maximum amount of light because photography is all about light. It must let in pure light, which means it should not bend the light because if it bends your light, your nose can actually get completely warped, right? No one wants that. And most importantly, this glass also shouldn't get scratched. You know, all this glass that we keep it gets, gets micro scratches and then we say, our camera is bad. It's actually that front glass that has gone for a six. So we did a very, very interesting experiment. We took a one-year-old phone that actually had Corning DX Plus on it at the back. We took a brand new phone that did not have Corning Gorilla Glass and we went and shot samples with both and then we went out onto the streets and showed them to people which is the best. Turn your phone around. See the cameras at the back? Now observe the glass that covers those lenses. It may look small and trivial but it plays a major role in the performance and output you get from your camera phone. This is the glass that protects your lens and optical sensors from damage and scratches, but it also plays many other roles. All light that has to travel to the lens and the sensors also has to travel through this glass. The quality of this glass matters. This can distort the image, block the light and if the glass is scratched, can lead to terrible photos and videos. But how do you judge if your phone has excellent glass or just mediocre stuff? You've heard of Gorilla Glass. There's a good chance that the phone in your hand is equipped with it. But did you know that Corning has a special solution designed specifically for your phone's camera? It's called Corning Gorilla Glass DX and DX Plus. The product is designed to capture 98% of the light for a camera lens. By combining high-end optical performance with protection against scratches and deli rigors, Gorilla Glass DX is the perfect solution for your camera phone. The true test of the capabilities of the glass is in how well it copes with everyday use. So we brought out the one-year-old Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. The phone has gone through extensive testing, use and abuse, and the camera glass still remains spotless. We also took out a brand new phone right out of the box and took multiple pictures with both phones. The same photos in the same condition and the same light. Here are the results. Can you tell us which one is better? Remember. One is from a year-old phone and the other from a brand new just out of the box phone. We can reveal now that pictures from the Corning DX Samsung Fold 3 are labeled B and the new phone are A. We did one more thing. We sent these pictures out to find out from all of you as to which images are better. New phone or one year old phone with Corning DX glass. We didn't tell them which is which. How much knowledge do you have a smartphone's camera? Instagram तक ही है। Photo वगैरह तो बहुत खींचता हूँ। ना ठीक है कि Instagram पे डाल रहे हैं, वो सब it's okay, but ऐसे knowledge तो obviously नहीं है। I do have knowledge, like for my Instagram very much active on Instagram as well. So हाँ थोड़ा बहुत knowledge like photography and all का है। Among the photos shown, which one is better according to you? I think this one is newer. ये वाली better है। For this photo, they have used some filter and it's original, like. Filter as in just iPhones में होता ना vivid or something like that and this is original so I'll go with it. Option B is better. ये कैसे हो गया? पुराना लगा रहा अच्छा लग रहा है? नहीं ये ऐसे कैसे हो सकता है? How is that possible? अगर ये last year का है तो ये ज़्यादा better होनी चाहिए थी ना? As per me so yeah this one is better. So how it's possible कि like the phone which is launched launched like last year how it's better? Corning says that conventional anti-reflective coatings on glass can scratch easily. Corning's Gorilla Glass composites not only provide mobile device camera lens covers with enhanced scratch resistance and durability compared to traditional coatings, but also the improved optical performance required for these devices. In fact, the solution has been so successful that both the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 and Z Fold 4 are also employing Corning's latest innovation. So, if you're in the market for a new camera phone, you know what to look out for. Make sure that your next smartphone is equipped with Gorilla Glass DX. 
That then is the Sell Guru Show for this week. Do join me next week on the Sell Guru Show. I'll be waiting. <laughs>